let's talk about functions. So in my previous video on relations, I said that relations were the introduction to our, our conversation on functions. And here we are, we're ready to talk about functions. Functions are a special type of relation where each X value has only one Y value. So let me give an example. So I have a relation right here, right? This is a set of points. I'm going to put the X values in my domain. I'm gonna put the Y values in my range. So what makes this a function is gonna be that each X value has only one Y value. So their X values are only ever used once. Each X value is only ever used once. that makes it a function. All right, so in our, oop, that is not what I meant to do. Here we go. In our domain, we have negative one, two, and five. In our range, we have two, three, and two. Remember that we're only listing numbers one time. So since two is repeated, I'm only writing two once, so two and three. That's my range. Now I'm looking at each of these coordinate points individually, and I'm going to map them. I'm going to map the x values to the y values. So negative 1 gets sent to 2 in the range. 2, comma 3, 2 gets sent to 3, gets mapped to 3. And then 5, comma 2, the x value 5 is mapped to the y value too. So notice that every single um, x value is only sent over one, is only sent over one. So you don't have any uh, double arrows coming out from any x value in this domain. Each x value is only sent to one y value. On the other hand, if I look down here, see if I can move. <laughs> it's not going to let me just move that, so that's fine. Um, if we look down here, I have another example, and this one is not going to be a function. So I said that each x value is only used once here. If we look at these points down here, notice that negative 4 is used as an x value twice. Negative four has the y value six and it has the y value negative one. So that makes it not a function. A function says that everything in the domain um, is only sent over once. which is what makes it not a function. But let's go ahead and draw it so we can see it visually. So we have negative four, zero, negative four, one. Writing each of those numbers only once. So negative four, zero, negative four we already wrote, and then one. For our range, we have six, two, negative one, and seven. And now let's map. So negative four is sent to six. Zero is sent to two. Negative four is also sent to one. And then one is sent to seven. So the issue, and I wanna be very clear here, 
The issue is over here in the domain, it's this, this negative four who's being sent to two places. Notice that the, the relation that we said was a function, we have two different X values being sent to the same Y value and that was okay, that, that was still a function. You can have two X values sent to the same Y value. You just can't have an X value go to two different Y values. So this right here is the problem. This is why it's not a function. So that works when we're talking about a discrete set. So we're talking about a set of fi a finite set of points, right? We have four different points here. We can see, you know, oh, this is not a function because this value was sent over twice. But how do we tell if a graph is a function? And for that, we have the vertical line test. So the vertical line test tells us if a graph represents a function or not. Now, the idea is that each X value has only one Y value. So on a graph, we can tell if an X value, which those are all listed on the X axis, right? We can tell if an X value has two Y values if we're able to draw an up and down line and hit the graph twice. So if we hit the graph twice, we are not a function. If we draw an up and down line and hit the graph twice, that means an X value has two different Y values. So with this first drawing right here, look, I only hit once, right? Anywhere I draw a line, I only am going to hit the graph once. I hit right here, that's only one time, only one time, only one time, only one time. So each of these X values are only gonna have one Y value associated with them. This passes the vertical line test, this is a function. On the other hand, if we look at this next graph, notice that when I put a vertical line here, I hit in two places, right? I hit here and here. So the X value right here has two different Y values associated with it. This X value is gonna have a coordinate point up here with the next value and that same X value down here with a different Y value. So this guy is going to fail the vertical line test, and it is not a function. Let's uh, center that a little bit. There we go. Not a function. Likewise, over here, I draw a vertical line Oh, look, I'm hitting in three different places. So this X value where this dotted line is drawn, this X value has three different Y values associated with it. So it is not a function. It fails the vertical line test and is therefore not a function. So let's look at a few more examples and determine whether these graphs are functions or not functions. And again, we're drawing vertical lines. Um, maybe I'll draw them as solid lines so they show up a little better. <clears throat> so looking at this first graph here, I can draw a vertical line here and I'm only hitting once, right? And anywhere I draw it on this picture, I'm only going to hit once. So I hit one point right here. If I draw a line here, I hit one point. Now there's places where I would hit no points, right? If I put my line right here, I'm not hitting any points, but that's not a problem. It's not a problem to not hit, hit the graph. It's a problem if you're hitting the graph more than once on one vertical line, that makes you not a function. So there's no place here where I could draw a vertical line and hit the graph twice. So that means that this is indeed a function. On this next graph, oh, look, this first line that I draw, I'm hitting in two places. I'm hitting here and here. So I fail the vertical line test. This graph does not represent a function. This is not a function.
over here, this graph. Over, this all looks fine, right? Hitting once, hitting once, hitting once. Oh, when I look right here, I have to say, okay, is this a problem? Is this a problem? Do I hit the graph twice? And it almost looks like I do, right? Because like this kind of looks like a point. But when we have this open circle, which we have in both these places, um, when we have open circles, those aren't points. They're showing where this part of the graph is getting close to, but it's not itself a point. So open circles on a graph are not points. So it doesn't actually fail the vertical line test here because it only hits once. The open circle is not a point. So this guy is indeed a function. All right, this next one, um, kind of a lot like the circle, right? You can tell that this is gonna fail the vertical line test um, in a lot of places. It, the vertical line is gonna hit more than once. So it hits more than once. The vertical, This vertical line hits the graph more than once. This is not a function. It fails the vertical line test. This guy here, everything is good, everything is good. Oh, this is different than the previous one. These are both closed circles. Because these are both closed circles, they are both points. So it hits here, it hits here. This is not a function. Not a function, it fails the vertical line test. This guy over here, mm, nope, this is not a function. There's a lot of places where the vertical line is going to hit the graph twice. Go. Down here. Okay, only hitting once, only hitting once, only hitting once, only hitting once. Oh, looks like every line that I would draw is only going to hit the graph once. So this passes the vertical line test. This is indeed a function. Over here, hitting once, hitting once, hitting once. Yep, this is only gonna ever hit once. This is a function. It passes the vertical line test. Every X value has only one Y value. This last one's a little tricky um, because there's nothing to look at over here or over here. It's just a matter of is this line, is this straight up and down line, make it a function or not? And the answer is this is this fails the vertical line test because every single point here, every point, there's infinitely many of them and all of them are up and down from one another. So they all share the same X value. So all of those points have the same X value, um, different Y values. This is not a function, not a function. And that are, is the basics of what a function is. So big idea, once again, scrolling up to the top here, each X value has only one Y value. Each X value in the domain is only sent to one Y value. It's okay if two different X values are sent to the same Y value. We just don't want one X value being sent to two different Y values. Vertical line test, draw an up and down line. If it hits the graph twice, it fails. If it only hits the graph once at any spot that you could draw the line, then it passes the vertical line test and it is a function. All right, so I will see you in another video. Good luck, have fun, enjoy your day.